for women of this world, there are challenges that men do not face. But there are also hidden advantages to being in feminine form. There are reasons you have chosen to take a feminine form. And in this form there are certain spiritual avenues which are more accessible to women. Those in feminine form must care for children, care for family. Often the woman is in the center of the family. And so it's the natural inclination of women to be more social, more socially aware, more aware of their interactions with others, to find their communication and community with others, to protect themselves, to secure themselves and their offspring. And so women, because they relate to people a great deal, often find strength in their heart chakra, in their ability to love and to find compassion. Because of this, the female form is well suited to the practices of bhakti yoga, to devotion to the divine. Through love and devotion, through opening of the heart, the spirit of a human being can be uplifted in a way that it takes many years for the mind to understand. The mind is a slow learner, bogged down in all the intellect and the ego and the defenses and the rationality. It is a slow learner of spirit. But the heart learns quickly. The heart understands spirit. And so it is the strength of women to know the spiritual heart, to be able to utilize the strengths of the feminine body, to connect with love, to connect with compassion, to connect with the expansiveness of the heart. And in the expansiveness of the heart comes the upliftment of the human spirit. In the passion of love comes the knowledge of the divine. When your heart can open and you feel divine presence and you connect with your passion, with your loving passion, then the avenue opens between you and the infinite. The infinite is not known through ideas in the mind. It's known through the passion of the heart. And this is a special gift of divine form, divine feminine form, is that the capacity of opening the heart is available. Opening in passion and love. Whatever is the form of the divine that is special to you, that speaks to you. Let your heart open to that form. 
approach it from the heart, not from the mind, not from the intellect, not trying to understand, but from the heart. Letting yourself feel the presence around you, with you, and just melt back, dissolve into that presence into that love that you feel from your divine counterpart, from your divine form to which you relate. This love, this communion happens between those whose hearts are open and available to the divine. And that divine presence can come and touch. For each and every living being has a personal relationship with the infinite as well as an impersonal relationship in the interwoven interconnectedness of the cosmos. There is a personal relationship as well as that impersonal relationship. That personal relationship is where the heart center can be utilized and the feminine strength abides to know, to feel, to connect with love divine to feel that presence in you, with you, near to you, and to allow it to govern your life. With that presence, you are whole. For that is the source of your being, that infinite love, that grace, And when you are able to follow the threads of the heart back to the source, you find your home. You find your solid ground in an ever-shifting world of form. There is a place for you, a place of solid ground, a place of undying love. And it is your heart cord, your feeling being that can commune with that. This is a hidden strength of the feminine form. And many take the feminine form to awaken this strength, to develop this power, to align with the heart. And when that love is open inside of you, that divine love and grace, you feel love for all beings. You feel love for all that is. That love showers through you transforming your body, transforming your mind. That love is the power of the infinite, the shakti, the infinite grace, which can awaken your life and move you into wholeness. And with that wholeness, move you into a love relationship with the whole cosmos, with those around you, with all that is, with the plants, with the animals, with the trees, with the blade of grass, with the sunshine and the mountains and the rain. It is all part of the magnificent whole of being, 
all part of the embodiment of that infinite love in the dance of creation on the waves of love. The great dreamer is dreaming and you are his dream, his beloved in form, and he is your beloved in the cosmic realm. He, she is the infinite one for you to know, for you to discover. And this is the great challenge of your life, the great adventure of your soul, to find the infinite one and to live in that love that showers and abides at the core of all existence. This is the potential that lies within you and in your feminine expression. All right.